four. Copy, one alpha. Vehicles pitching downrange. Plus 30 seconds. Pullouts indicate nominal. The Spark Mission flame, the Inspiration 4 crew, onboard Dragon and Falcon 9. Great deal with the crew in the capsule. We're into the throttle down, into the throttle bucket. Stage hey, one throttle down. Throttling down in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Do you feel pressure to, you know, make this successful and pave the way for civilian, you know, future civilian astronauts? I wouldn't say pressure, um, because pressure would mean like I'm, I'm nervous about the outcome here. Um, I think that responsibility is really the word, right? And that um, this is a big responsibility and we have to execute really well and get this right so that the door can stay open for all the other missions to follow. Haley, what did your doctor say to you? when you told them that you were going to embark on this journey where they're like you're crazy uh not at all so i texted my orthopedic surgeon right before my announcement and i just said i had some really big news to share and we both work at st jude together and so i went and met up with him and i said you know in a few days you can brag that you put the first artificial joint in space and he just kept saying how proud he was he kept hugging me and he's here to watch the launch tomorrow with his family the media has deemed you guys ordinary people doing something extraordinary, but that's why so many people are feel connected to this mission. Do you think, though, that that description is accurate? I kind of feel like it does. I mean, it, you could have put a group of people together um, from all over the country, and you would still have a set of unique stories behind each person. So I, I think when you think of the word ordinary, you're not necessarily thinking of bland, boring people, because everyone has an extraordinary story. We are just a lucky few that have the extraordinary opportunity to be together and to share in this, this incredible, incredible journey. For me, being the oldest and the most seasoned here, you know, uh, I, I think it's about not giving up um, in your dreams, having resilience and grit and determination. And, and so I, I know I have a lot of friends and colleagues who are in their 50s and 60s and you know sometimes you feel like the best parts of your life have passed you by but that's not the case there's so much life still worth living uh, in your golden ages and i like to think that this is an example of that